TLDR, games are really awesome. There's more than one way to enjoy them and don't get caught up in just the end goal and just like min-maxing everything. Enjoy everything the game has to offer. The game developer, you know, they probably include a lot of things in the game that are really cool and might be worth trying out and experiencing. Not saying you have to, but may increase your enjoyment and make it more fun rather than just like, ah, uh, Saint Stardew, just finding the most profitable crop, planting that over and over again until you're rich and then just like, or just ending the game. Even though it's more of a completion game, I feel like Stardew is, but still, yeah. There's a lot more than things have to offer on the surface level. Try to see and learn how to look for those things, what you could do with them. That's the life lesson of today, chat. How do I use the helicopter? Ooh. <laughs> the helicopter. Oh yeah, you just choose the location. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Freaking helicopter. Pretty much is actually, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, you can get enemies on chest. Ooh, I got another prismatic char I also got five burgers. Bro, I need one more prismatic shard game, please. Just one. Okay, I need one good room. Like a lot of rocks or something. Please be in this chest. Yes! Oh my god, it was actually in the chest. <laughs> That's funny. Love you. Okay. Uh, please tell me that counted. Okay, I just have to put them in the box. Nice. Bro, it's crazy how rare that shit is. It's kind of annoying. Thank god you don't need it for that many recipes. I could see, like, if Concerned Ape does, like, a 1.7 update chat, he could focus more on Radioactive Ore. He could even make it, like, the next year after Iridium. And, um, like, expand off of that. But I don't know if he wants to do that, because it might be annoying as fuck. But I could see him doing that. Radioactive Ore, Radioactive Weapons, next year, and then also make it more available. Maybe that's kind of what he had in mind, is like another higher tier ore and like get it prepared for what might be the next like step in the game. You guys feel what I'm saying. Holy shit. I should really put floors here so that's yeah. But I kinda like the whole style of it I guess. Okay, we should have way more kegs for a chat. Like, we don't really have that. Also, it's funny because I made this for processing, but like, I have no use for the money. I think I should have a jukebox in every fucking corner of the game, bro. So we can always have some kind of cool music playing. No matter which shed you're up entering or the home or something. Oh, I probably do coffee sometime again. I haven't done tea in forever. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I just need to make more processing machines. I think that's the one thing. Overall though, I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, can't wait to see how it'll look once it's like fully done upgrading and shit. But yeah. That's that, bro. Nah, but I feel like we can process in so many places. We can process anywhere around the map. So I that's why I'd rather do like a decoration shed or something. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I'll think of something to use the sheds for. There's actually a lot we can do. It just comes down to... Do I want to make it purely aesthetic, or do I want to have fun with it as well? Don't know what I'm going to do here. Probably just going to put some trees or something. Yo, look, you can put so much on Ginger Island. You can get rich so fast if you min-max. Like, chat, you can speed around Ginger Island and just fucking cover the entire place with ancient fruit or star fruit. And just, like, instantly have max money, you know? But I feel like this is cooler. You know, in my other playthrough, I tried to play only for money, and I feel like... The issue with Stardew Valley is like it's tempting to only play for profits, but I feel like there's such there's so much more enjoyment in the game with all the items. Like there's so many aesthetic aspects that make it really fun. It's like when you're a kid and you collect Pokemon cards, and then like when you're when you're like a kid, when you're like 10 or something, you collect Pokemon cards and it's like you only want the ones that do the most damage or have the most HP and the X's and EX's and whatever the fuck. But then, like, once you get older, you realize some cards are actually really fucking cool that aren't even, like, have the most HP. But then, like, yeah, as you get older, you realize, like, oh, fuck, it's actually not that. It's, like, same thing with, like, Minecraft. It's, like, I feel like a lot of people, when they play Minecraft for the first time, they think, like, oh, you just get, like, Back in the day, was diamond was the furthest, but then it became netherite, of course. But it's like, you get diamond armor, and then it's like, a lot of people, they, they get diamond gear, and then they're like, oh shit, what do I do now? Or they kill the ender dragon, they're like, oh fuck. But the cool thing about these sandbox games is that oftentimes, they're actually not about 
just the progression. They're not really progression games. Like, Minecraft isn't a progression game. I mean, it has progression, but it's not really... I feel like the majority of it isn't progression-based. I feel like Minecraft, Terraria, Stardew, there's so much more to, like, games and just hobbies in life in general rather than just, like, the monetary aspect or, like, I don't know. I feel like you can look at a lot of things and it's like, oh, this does the most damage, this is the most expensive, this gives the most money, the most in-game currency, this is the coolest skin, but it's like, there's actually a lot more there. Like, the game engine itself, especially with sandbox games, like, a lot of people play Stardew just for the money, and then it's like, bro, there's so much more. Like, there's all these fucking plants and seeds and recipes and decorations and shit, and it makes it really fun. Same thing with Terraria. Terraria is, like, the perfect game to me. It's, like, the best single, or the best, like, PvE game ever, because it's, like, it has so much progression. It has all these, like, even with that's without mods, it has, like, all this progression, but, yeah, it's, like, there's so much. That's why Terraria is so cool. Like, the issue with Minecraft is I think it's maybe... Like, I get the target audience is, like, really young kids. So maybe it is, like, a good starter game. Because it has progression that might be, like, really hard for kids. Actually, yeah, probably would be if they've never played video games before. But then I feel like it kind of falls off. And there's all these farms and optimizations you can make in Minecraft. But you don't really need them for anything. But, yeah, it's, like, Minecraft kind of falls off. But the building and creative aspect aspect is by far the most fun part of Minecraft. Like, the progression is pretty uninteresting to me. Um, the exploration, it's just the issue is, like, once you look at other games that have so many, so many more layers of progression and exploration, Minecraft just falls, for, falls short every time. But then, like, Terraria has all this progression, pre-hard mode, hard mode, all these bosses, enemies, Hundreds of items, weapons, drops, accessories that all do different things. So many things to collect, try out, experience, all this mobility, crazy shit, bro. And then on top of the entire game and progression system, there's, there's like, fishing, there's building, there's so much. It's, like, Trivia is such a good game because it's also all these different levels of difficulty. There's, like, secret seats, there's the fucking legendary mode, mass, uh, the, the really hard difficulties. I feel like there's something for everybody like if you just want to chill they even have journey mode if you just want to build just take it easy um but yeah i feel like Terraria, like journey mode is so underrated by the way in terraria especially like i feel like terraria is low-key kind of a hard game if you've never played it before or if you haven't played that many games i don't know journey mode is really nice like if if i was playing with someone who was, wanted to play terraria was like new to video games i would maybe take them to journey mode if like they really struggled because for a lot of people even the first boss is like really fucking hard it's like elden ring type shit except it's obviously not that not as hard as souls like but for people who've never played those kinds of games maybe um but then there's also just like the building bro there's so much there's so many uses for it i don't know games are pretty great like old me would probably just play stardew and just try to get as much money as possible and now i realize it's like, it's, it's also comes with my life, life philosophy changing. It's like, life isn't just about money, chat. There's so much more to it. And it's like, it's funny how your real life philosophies can adapt to like, the way you go to the bouts, your day-to-day -day things and hobbies and just anything. And in this case, games, it's like, now when I play games, it's like, I don't just look at the fucking how to win aspect. It's like, it's not just how do I win, it's how can I enjoy enjoy the game engine, the mechanics, the the sandbox, as, sandbox aspects, fuck, sandbox aspects, yeah, and everything else has to offer, the exploration, like, uh, the cooking, because obviously it's a farming game, like, there's all these crops and recipes you can make, the friendship, the lore, bro, the story, the lore, um, the, the multiplayer, I, I kind of wish I would do more with my my girlfriend by the way people don't know my girlfriend's name is my so it's kind of funny they hear me say mine they might get confused but when i say my that's just her name bro it's my um anyways chat that was a fun little rant about games uh there's more too i mean honestly i really love games but i haven't played every single game out there like there's a lot of people who played way more games than me even a game like random ass indie games like enter the gungeon bro most there's probably lots of people who would see this and would be like what is enter the gungeon it's like 
uh, it's not even bullet hell, bro. It's like dungeon crawler. You reach a point in PvE games where roguelike, roguelike, that's the word I was looking for. It's like, I feel like you get to a point in single player games where it's like, it's not just about beating the game, it's about experiencing all the beauty there is to it. Like in Breath of the Wild, all the, all the different weapons, all the enemies you can fight, the bosses, and say like, I don't know, even in competitive games like League, not just playing a character with the most optimal build, but experimenting with different items and the effects it has with with the abilities, the damage, the item effects, like all that shit's in like Valorant. It's not just, you know, killing people, it's maybe styling on them, doing flicks, fucking weapons that are people don't usually don't use. There's so many different ways to enjoy things. It's pretty cool. I feel like that's how you get more enjoyment out of life, not just looking at looking at things on the surface level, but rather being creative with things and seeing everything there is to offer and how you could use those things for either your enjoyment as a tool to help you or anything else. Yeah. But anyways, if I make that rant into a YouTube video, by the way, that's all I have to say about games is TLDR, games are really awesome. There's more than one way to enjoy them, and don't get caught up in just the end goal, and just like min-maxing everything. Enjoy everything the game has to offer. The game developer, you know, they probably include a lot of things in the game that are really cool, and might be worth trying out and experiencing. Not saying you have to, but it may increase your enjoyments, and make it more fun rather than just like saying, uh, saying Stardew, just finding the most profitable plant and uh, mo most profitable crop, planting that over and over again until you're rich and then just like giving up or some shit or just ending the game even though it's more of a completion game I feel like Stardew is but still, yeah that's all I gotta say there's a lot more than things have to offer on the surface level try to see and learn how to look for those things what you could do with them that's the life lesson of today chat but yeah, I don't know. Sometimes, Chad, I feel like I go into mini rants and they actually make really good videos. So I might turn that like little discussion thing I had into a video because like sometimes I'll just talk about topics on a whim and then it'll just get like 2000 views on YouTube, which sounds like nothing. But bro, you guys need to remember my videos get like 10 views. So for me, that's a lot. Also, thoughts on Vise? I feel like the character design is pretty cool. Low-key, all of the Valorant characters are designed pretty well, I think. Like, Rai usually doesn't miss when it comes to...